Evelyn Rache, um, and also on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Brittany underscore for real. I'm gonna go ahead and do the um, that's this sh I don't like tag. This is my first YouTube video, so welcome to the channel. If you like what you hear, if you like what you see, go ahead and sub to the channel and also leave a thumbs up and a comment. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get into this list. What I don't like, when people cut me off in traffic, old people, young people, middle-aged people, I don't like it. I don't, I don't feel like it's necessary, uh, specifically when there's no one behind me. Why you cut me off? There's no one behind me. If I can count for five, six seconds and I don't see another car behind me, I feel as though you should have waited. Like you genuinely should have waited until I went. And if you feel as though I'm going too slow, then go around me. But don't don't cut me off when there's no one behind me. Next. Women, whether you're natural or you're permed, if you're wearing a weave, quick weave, 27 piece, wrap, bun, waterfalls, crimps, whatever, let your weave match your hair. I'm not talking about texture because the weave is to alternate the texture or to let the hair grow or whatever your excuse is for wearing your weave. But I'm, I'm a four, straight up. My hair is brown. Say I want a 27 piece. I'm going to get the color four. And maybe a highlight. But I'm not going to get an invisible part. Got my weave looking good, bumping, blonde. But three weeks later, my 4B roots then came up. Now I got brown roots and blonde weave. No bueno. That's a no-go. That's the stuff I don't like. And then when somebody say something to you about it, you know, them roots is checking, your invisible is now visible, you got attitude. Why are you mad at me? You pay for a service, you've been done a disservice. I'm not doing you a disservice. That's that stuff I don't like. <clears throat> um, speaking of weave and natural, the whole battle banter that naturals have versus permed individuals have, I don't... I don't understand why people even care to get into it. Like, if you've been natural your whole life and that's your prerogative, then okay. And if you've been wearing perms and chemically doing things to your hair your whole life, I don't care. I don't see why you feel as though she's natural so her hair is nappy or she's only natural because she got good hair or she only wear perm because she got nappy hair or she has a perm because she's uneducated or... Um, I hear a lot of people say she wears a perm because she's uneducated. She wears a perm because she wants to. Just like you're natural because that's what you choose. Whatever. Let that let that go. That's the stuff I don't like. And yes, I'm natural, but I've also worn a perm. So if I choose to perm my hair, then I'll perm it. I'm not going to be worried about what you say or he say or she say. I'll perm it. It's my hair. Anyway, that's the stuff I don't like. Another thing I don't like is um, the whole celebrity look-alike craze on Facebook. They do it in drones like it's a spirit week or something. Throwback Thursdays, thong, or I'm sorry, yeah, throwback Thursday, titty Tuesdays, and celebrity look-alike whenever you feel like day. It's not true. It's it's not it's not it's not reality. You don't look like who they say you look like. I feel as though if your mother, the woman who birthed you, or your father, a parent, someone that raised you and saw you from from here to here, if they don't say you look like somebody, you don't look like them. Like just just take that notion and dismiss it. If somebody say, hey girl, you're looking very Kerry Washington today. You're looking looking very uh, Beyonce-esque. I would take that as a compliment for my weave. I, I really would. I would not take it as this. No, that's the stuff I don't like. And then you get caught up in it. You don't. Boo-boo, you don't. You don't. You don't look like it. You don't look like her. Let that go. That's the stuff I don't like. Speaking of reality versus fantasy... 
people caught up in the fantasy, or I'm sorry, the reality TV craze. Mimi, Stevie J, and Jocelyn. You know a Mimi, you know a Stevie J, and you know a Jocelyn. You know how I know? Because I know. I know those people. I know baby mama stuck with baby daddy while he cheating on her with such and such, and she know all about it. You know him too. You got a cousin, a friend. Hell, you probably her. You probably Mimi. Don't be talking about what you coulda, shoulda, woulda done. You would do what she's doing because you done done it and you live it. That's reality. That's the stuff I don't like. Don't judge that woman. Let that go. Another one. This this is so far over. The common misuse and misspelling of words. If if you can't spell it, I I advise you to Google it, wiki it, Bing it. Yahoo it. You can get in your phone and if you start swiping, it'll give you words. It'll give you words to go by. I, I blame swipe on people being ignorant and negligent of their spelling as well. Because you don't have to think about it. You just, oh, that's how you do that. But if you can't spell it and you're writing it, if you're doing your resume, run that spell check. And also, if you're going to use a word, make sure that you're using it properly in the tense that you're meaning to use it in. Don't say something to me and then I correct you and you go, oh, you know what I meant. No, I don't. I don't know. Please elaborate. Oh, I forgot I can't use elaborate with you. Please tell me what you mean. That's that stuff I don't like. Another one. Baby mama and baby daddy. Just the usage of the words. Why isn't that just your child's parent? And you may go, they're not taking care of them. Why give them a title then call that person by their name? Say that's Shonda or that's Mark. Let that go. That's the stuff I don't like. I don't, the baby mama, baby daddy, BM, BD. That can mean anything. My initials are BM. I don't like, I don't, I don't like people running around. My BM this, I don't know you. My BD this. I could think of some BD. I mean, I could think of some things to to plug into that acronym. I could just, I could just plug in some stuff. That's the stuff I don't like. Another one. <clears throat> when I'm talking to you, and I ask you a question, if I say to you, "How was your day?" and you go, "Well, you know, I woke up and the sky was green." What? Either you had a good day, an all right day, or a bad day. Once you answer the question, go into your explanation. But don't go into anything before you answer my question. Don't do that. Because I'll wait for the answer. And when I don't get it, I get angry. I grow I grow angry. That's the stuff I don't like. I feel like that's childish. That's things my child does that. If I ask him a question, he answers with something else. I can just do this. And, and he'll give me the answer. But when you're an adult, just answer the question. Just answer it right away. That's the stuff I don't like. Another one. If you are calling and calling and calling me, and I don't answer my phone, you can just, just assume after two calls. You don't even have to call me a third time. After two calls, assume that one, my phone is not with me. Two, my phone is dead. Three, I am at work. That's it. That is it. You can text me to say, hey, I just had a question about this. Or, hey, what do you think about this? Or, hey, this is what's going on. I just wanted to make sure I reminded you. That's fine. But don't call me, call me, call me, call me. Text me what you're doing. Call me. Leave me a message. I've been trying to call you, blah, 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 whoop de whoop Okay, so what what was up? I don't like that. That's not nice. That's that sh I don't like. This is my last one, I'm, and I'm gonna let it go. People that don't wash their hands, specifically when you leave a public restroom. Now, if you don't wash your hands in your home, that is your business, your prerogative. Hey. But if I'm in the mall and I see you come out the restroom and you don't walk over to that sink, I'm 
just going to assume that you just nasty. I mean, I'm not assuming that you have uh, wipes. Now you back in the stores and you fandangling through the clothes. Now you're perusing and you got your fingers with your hip and, and your tetanus and your piss. Leaving out I'm that shit I don't like that mm -mm. but first I mean it just it starts doing something in my mind because I'm thinking okay you had to pee you went in you probably didn't use a seat cover if you don't use them whatever it's a public restroom I'm using your seat cover you probably didn't use one you probably wiped you probably didn't flush now you don't walked out that's nasty to me that's nasty people that don't flush that is a whole nother level of nasty I don't care if you wiped, but if you don't flush, that to me, you're wiping, you're not washing, you're probably getting something to eat, there go your hip seat, there go your tetanus, and you wonder why you, <coughs> that's nasty. When I go to the restroom, I don't want to see your tissue, I don't want to see your apple juice, I don't want to see your stains or your chocolate bars. I want water and porcelain, no rings, no scuds, no scud, no nothing. Water and porcelain. I want it to look like you just bought the toilet from Home Depot and they just poured some water in there for some filter water out of a Brita filter. Poured it right in there. I just, it just, to me, mm -mm -mm. oh, while I'm on the toilet. Y'all know that people get comfortable. After you know somebody for a while, they get comfortable. Friends, family, boyfriend, girlfriend, specifically boyfriends. Y'all got this bad, boyfriends got this bad. And women tell me if I'm wrong. When you first meet them, you in the shower, he's a gentleman. If I mean, if he's there and you in the shower, he's sitting on the couch, his hands is folded, he might be texting his boys, he might be watching the game, but he ain't bothering you. Let him be comfortable. Let him spend a few nights. I'm going to go ahead and push it past the 90-day rule. Let it be the 93rd day. Y'all done, done probably showered one time together, maybe not. Y'all probably done laid in the same bed, probably not. But if you have, you in there, you hitting it. You getting it. You watching it. You you taking care of your business. And you hear it. Psst. I'm about to break the shower curtain. I'm about to break the rod. Did you just piss? Did you just piss while I was in the shower? That's that shit I don't like. Again, this is Evelyn Roche, also Brittany Ferrell at Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Follow me there. If you like my segment, go ahead and thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe. Peace.